In this projectile motion example, we're going to approximately model a basketball shot where the uh, ball is launched over here on the left, 1.98 meters off of the floor, 7.24 meters away from the basket. It's launched at 55 degrees from the horizontal, and we want to calculate the initial speed of the ball. The uh, target, the hoop, is 3.05 meters up off of the ground. So in this, let's take a look at uh, some of our understanding of motion here. In the x direction, distance equals rate times time. The x velocity is a constant when we ignore air resistance. And that will be found, 7.24 meters is our range, it will be found by v naught cosine 55 degrees multiplied by time. If I create a right triangle here, right here is v naught x, and this side, vertical side, is v naught y. And the cosine allows us to calculate this adjacent side to the 55 degree angle. I'll put the angle in here. The cosine function allows us to calculate that, multiplying the hypotenuse of the um, v naught, which is unknown, we're looking for, times cosine of 55 degrees. In the y direction, we're ending up at the hoop. We do not know the final velocity as the ball goes through the hoop. That's an unknown. So we need to look at our kinematic equations and select a kinematic equation that does not have the final velocity. And that is the, uh, the third equation as you, you see there. So taking a look at the numbers there, we're ending up at 3.05 for the y position. I'm calling y equals zero at the basketball floor. And we started at 1.98 meters. We add on the initial y velocity multiplied by the time. And then it's plus 1 half acceleration times t squared. And I've already done the 1 half times minus 9.8 to give us this minus 4.9. So as we look at this, we have two equations and two unknowns. The time to get to the hoop is unknown, and v naught is unknown. That's what we want to solve for. We want to find this initial velocity, the speed, actually. We're already given the angle. So the method to do this will be to solve for t in one of these equations and then substitute it into the other one. So I'm going to take the x motion and solve for t. And I find t is 7.24 divided by v naught cosine 55. Now substitute that in and simplify a little bit here. The 3.05 minus 1.98, that gives us a 1.07. I'll slide this up. And then we still have v naught sine 55. Time has been replaced now. This time to the first power has been replaced with 7.24 over v naught cosine 55 minus 49, and here's our substitution that has to be squared. So processing the numbers a little bit, and you ought to check this on your calculator. Um, the v naughts you notice, cancel. There's a v naught in the numerator and a v naught in the denominator. So they cancel from that ter this term. That helps. Um, we're not going to have a quad full quadratic equation. We're going to have something a little easier. We know numbers for sine of 55, 7.24, cosine of 55. So evaluate those on your calculator. Hopefully, you'll come up with 10.34. Over here, the minus sign survives. 4.9 times 7.24 squared divided by the square of cosine of 55 degrees. Uh, you may want to do just 7.24 divided by cosine of 55. Get that result, then square it and then multiplied by 4.9. I believe you'll come up with 780.7. .7. So I'm going to subtract 10.34 from both sides. Subtract 10.34 from both sides. Gives us minus 9.27 on the left, a minus over here. Now multiply both sides by v naught squared and divide both sides by 9.27, minus 9.27, I should say. Well, the minus signs cancel. We get v naught squared is 84.22. Take a square root of this. We find v naught is 9.18 meters per second. That's our initial speed of the ball. And putting in the angle makes it a velocity. What else can we find here? Well, we could calculate the maximum height. 
For the maximum height, we're going to, I'm going to use equation number four. It involves the square of the velocities. At the top of the motion, and this is a y equation, this is a vertical number equation. At the top of the motion, temporarily, the vertical velocity is zero. Here is the y component of the initial velocity. We're taking advantage of knowing now v naught. 9.18 meters per second is the hypotenuse. Sine of 55 degrees, we'll square that number. We have two, acceleration due to gravity is a negative, and we have y minus 1.98. So we're calculating with this, how high does the ball go at its, uh, at its maximum? Um, so do this calculation and square, and go ahead and distribute here uh, the minus 19.8, and actually I've, I've taken in uh, a little bit more here. I've divided through, been a couple days since I did this calculation, I've squared this, take it to the left side, and then divide by minus 9.8 and divide by two. So divide by both of these numbers out here. That takes away the minus sign when you subtracted the squared term and leaves us with 2.885. That's 9.18 times sine of 55 divided by 2 divided by 9.8, and the minus signs have canceled. Then we don't have to distribute through the parentheses. Just on the right side, we have y minus 1.98. So I add 1.98 to both sides, and I find 4.87 meters is the uh, height of the basketball above the basketball floor. Remember, y0 is at the floor, and uh, there we go. So make a drawing, make a little sketch of what's happening. When you write down your equations, your x and y equations, make sure in the x equation you only have x numbers. In the y equation you only have vertical numbers. And watch your plus and minus signs. Figure out a way to uh, eliminate a variable and go ahead and solve. Uh, so if you need uh, some help with this, you know, pause the video along the way. And you could ask your instructor questions if you want to see some other examples on projectile motion. Um, there are lists of my videos at physics.gpclements.com and lists of the astronomy videos at astronomy.gpclements.com. Nothing for sale at these sites. You don't have to register. They're free. And I hope they're useful for you. So keep practicing. Work your own problems.